Hello, welcome to English for Everyone. Today we're going to analyze the American pronunciation and intonation of this dialogue. In the dialogue, the girl Sophia goes to the police station to report a crime. The police officer asks a question. Can you describe the two suspects who chased you last night? Let's look at the intonation. This is a yes or no question. For a yes or no question, the intonation goes up at the end. Can you describe the two suspects who chased you last night? Intonation goes up at the end of a yes or no question. We stress important words. Actions, nouns, adjectives. Describe two suspects. Chased last night. Listen for the stressed words. Can you describe the two suspects who chased you last night? And pronunciation. Can is not stressed, so we pronounce it kin, kin, kin. Can you? Can you describe? Can you describe the two suspects who chased you last night? Chased you. The T linked to the Y, Ch. You can say ch chased you, chased you, or together with a ch sound. Chase, ch, ch. Chased you. Chased you. Can you describe the two suspects who chased you last night? Last night. The T in last is silent because it's between consonants. You hear last night. Last night. Night. At the end of the word, when you have a T after a vowel, it's a stop T. You put your tongue and you stop. Stop the air. Night. We don't say night. We say night. Last night. Last night. Can you describe the two suspects who chased you last night? Can you describe the two suspects who chased you last night? Let's practice. Can you describe the two suspects who chased you last night? Can you describe the two suspects who chased you last night? Very good. Yes, they were both Caucasian. Intonation goes up before a comma. Yes, they were both Caucasian. Intonation goes down at the end of an affirmative statement. They were both Caucasian. Yes, they were both Caucasian. We stress important words. Both is an adjective. We stress adjectives. They were both Caucasian. Pronunciation, Caucasian. Caucasian, you have A-U. A-U always makes the aw sound. The sound is here. Aw, call, Caucasian. Caucasian. Three syllables. The intonation is on the second syllable. Caucasian. Caucasian. Yes, they were both Caucasian. She continues. One of them was tall, about 6'3". One of them was tall, about 6'3". Intonation goes up before the comma. One of them was tall. And she continues, about 6'3". Intonation goes down at the end because it's an affirmative statement. One of them was tall, about 6'3". We stress important words. One is an adjective. We stress one. One of them was tall. Intonation goes up. About 6'3". Intonation goes down. 6'3". It's 6 feet and 3 inches. But you don't have to say feet. You don't have to say inches. Only the numbers. About 6'3". Pronunciation. One of them. One of them. We have two pronunciations here. One is like in shown where we pronounce the F as a V. V. One of them. The TH is silent because them is not a stressed word. We don't pronounce the V sound. We just link it together. One of them. Vum. One of them. One of them was tall, about 6'3". Again, one of them was tall, about 6'3". Another pronunciation for this, you can say, one of them. You make the V sound silent. We can make the of with a silent V sound before a consonant. This is a consonant, so you can say, one of them. Pronouncing the TH, not pronouncing the V sound. Again, one of them. One of them. One of them was tall, about 6'3". Again, one of them was tall, about 6'3". So two pronunciations. One of them or one of them. One of them was tall, about 6'3". Pronunciation. About. We don't say about. It's a stop T because the T is after a vowel. About. Stop the air. Put the tongue up and stop the air. 
about about 6'3". One of them was tall, about 6'3". One of them was tall, about 6'3". She continues. He had short, wavy brown hair. He had short, wavy brown hair. The intonation goes down at the end because it's a positive statement. He had short, wavy brown hair. He had short, wavy brown hair. Stress important words. Short, wavy, brown. They're all adjectives, and we stress all adjectives. He had short, wavy brown hair. He had short, wavy brown hair. Had is not stressed, so we don't pronounce the H. It's not he had, it's he had. We don't pronounce ah, we pronounce eh, eh, he had, ed, 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 because it's not an important word. He had, he had, he had short, wavy brown hair. He had short, wavy brown hair. Short, stop T. Short, not short. Short, short, wavy brown hair. He had short, wavy brown hair. Let's practice. Yes, they were both Caucasian. Yes, they were both Caucasian. Very good. One of them was tall, about 6'3". One of them was tall, about 6'3". Very good. He had short, wavy brown hair. He had short, wavy brown hair. Very good. The police officer has another question. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? It's an information question because it starts with what? A question word. Information question, the intonation goes down at the end. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? Stress important words. What? The question word is an important word. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? What was he wearing? Now, it has a stop T because the T is after a vowel. What was he wearing? And you can put your tongue in a T position and stop the air. What was he wearing? Or you can stop the air here. Watch. What? What? I stopped the air here. What? What was? What was? So what was or what was? Both are correct. You might hear what was, what was. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? What was he wearing? Link the words. What was, what was, what was he wearing? Was he, was he? The H is silent. We don't say was he, we say was he. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? What was he wearing? So the H in he is silent because he is not stressed. Was he, was he, was he? What was he wearing? What was he wearing? Let's practice. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? Very good. Sophia describes the suspect. It's one long sentence. He was wearing Converse tennis shoes, blue corduroy pants, a blue t-shirt, and a gray leather jacket. This is one affirmative statement, so the intonation goes down at the end. Jacket. Again. He was wearing Converse tennis shoes, blue corduroy pants, a blue t-shirt, and a gray leather jacket. And a gray leather jacket intonation goes down at the end. We stress important words. Actions, verbs, wearing, converse tennis shoes. We stress adjectives. Blue, corduroy, blue, gray, leather. All adjectives, we stress all adjectives. One more time. He was wearing converse tennis shoes, blue corduroy pants, a blue t-shirt, and a gray leather jacket. Intonation goes down, and a gray leather jacket. Intonation goes up before a comma. Intonation goes up. Intonation goes up. Intonation goes up. Listen for the intonation. He was wearing Converse tennis shoes, blue corduroy pants, a blue t-shirt, and a gray leather jacket. Intonation goes down at the end. Pronunciation. Tennis shoes. When we have SH after an S, we don't hear the S. Tennis shoes. Tennis sh 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 sh. Not tennis shoes, but Tennis sh shoes. Tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. He was wearing Converse tennis shoes. Remember, wearing. Make that sound open. We eh eh. Wearing. Make it long. Wearing. He was wearing. 
He was wearing Converse tennis shoes. With the word T-shirt, it is a stop T. After a vowel or after an R, the T at the end is a stop T. Stop the air. Shirt. Shirt. Put your tongue up and stop the air. T-shirt. T-shirt. A blue T-shirt. Pronunciation for and. And is not a stressed word, so the D is not pronounced. You hear Anna, Anna, Anna. And a uh, together, Anna, link the words. And a gray leather jacket. And a gray leather jacket. Anna, Anna. And a gray leather jacket. All together. He was wearing Converse tennis shoes, blue corduroy pants, a blue t shirt, and a gray leather jacket. Let's practice everything. He was wearing Converse tennis shoes, blue corduroy pants, a blue t shirt, and a gray leather jacket. He was wearing Converse tennis shoes, blue corduroy pants, a blue t-shirt, and a gray leather jacket. Very good. Now your turn. Very good. Let's practice. Can you describe the two suspects who chased you last night? Can you describe the two suspects who chased you last night? Very good. Yes, they were both Caucasian. Yes, they were both Caucasian. One of them was tall, about 6'3". One of them was tall, about 6'3". Very good. He had short, wavy brown hair. He had short, wavy brown hair. Very good. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? Very good. He was wearing Converse tennis shoes, blue corduroy pants, a blue t-shirt, and a gray leather jacket. Again, he was wearing Converse tennis shoes, blue corduroy pants, a blue t-shirt, and a gray leather jacket. Very good. Thank you for watching. And if you want to improve your American pronunciation and sound more natural, subscribe to our channel and keep practicing. Can you describe the two suspects who chased you last night? Yes, they were both Caucasian. One of them was tall, about 6'3". He had short, wavy brown hair. What was he wearing? He was wearing Converse tennis shoes, blue corduroy pants, a blue t-shirt, and a gray leather jacket.